Can you Hi, half of it? This is Angela <laughs> for Daily Dose. Hold on. You just drank <laughs> half of my water. <laughs> this week we're doing the paranormal tag. Angela's going to ask Brandon some questions about paranormal stuff. Okay, okay, I get it. Right, let's start. Hey, what's up? It's your Wednesday, Angela, on a daily dose, and today, well, this week actually, but whatevs, is Paranormal Tag to kick off Halloween. And so, I'm doing a lot with my hands again today, so. Mm. So, I brought in my friend, Brandon, who is on my shit list today. Oh, no. <laughs> Anyways. Let's get this thing started. Question one. Do you do you have any experiences with dark spirits or any spirits of what? I don't have any experience with dark spirits as in demons. But I've had friendly spirits and unhappy spirits. Kinda unhappy spirits. Well in my old house and one of the rooms I used to sleep in. Well, that I used to live in. Uh, there would be a you hear footsteps outside, and you hear whispers of get out. And I've seen him once, and it was an old man with a shovel walking around. Like we have like a little fire bed right outside the window, and that's where he was walking. If you went like the room right next door, and like you spent all night in that room, you'd never see him. It's only inside that room that you would see. Mm. Anyways, I forgot to uh, mention Brandon says he did these spirits. I still don't fully believe it, but I'm kind of leaning more towards believing it. So, yeah, that's why he's on here. Anyways, number two, have you noticed any unexplained scratches or claw marks or been attacked by a ghost? In the same room, it used to be my bedroom, uh, I've had a picture thrown at me mm. in the middle of the night. I've had pictures fall off the wall. Yeah. Mm. Angela's been inside that room before. Yeah. She don't like ghosts. <laughs> I just live with it. Once again, happy to switch rooms and move. Yes, yes. Uh, is that before you think? No, Cross been out there since uh, so my grandma moved in. How did you stop it from happening? We don't stop it. So, we, don't, we just live with the spirits. We don't try to stop them. They never try to hurt us. Who <laughs> 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 never really tried to hurt us all that much. Uh, me and my mom just played that one off as I did something wrong, like the day before or something like that, and just my grandmother getting back at me by throwing picture frames at me because, you know. Loving family. Hey, the next one. Uh, so where did you find the mark? I, there was no marks. It was just pictures. I was attacked by via picture. <laughs> the frame. Um, have you ever had any bad dreams that you were the subject of a ritual or being surrounded by dark figures? If so, what was the dream or dreams about? No. <laughs> All right. Really long question for a really small answer. Other than feeling sick, have you ever experienced any strange feelings in the tummy during any of these encounters? If so, what part of the belly and what did it feel like? Now it does sound like I'm just talking about one house. I've lived in multiple houses where there's been multiple spirits. Most of them are friendly towards us, weirdly enough. Um, Usually you just start feeling cold, like most people say, you actually do start feeling cold. And then, for me, I get like the butterfly feelings on my stomach, but it's like scared butterfly kind of like thing, I don't know. So like when you're nervous? Yeah, kind of, but it's not so much, like I've been nervous, it's not the same feeling, and you kind of feel like you're floating-ish. You don't feel like you're actually walking. It's like floating. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Alright, well, that's basically all the questions. Anything else? Uh, I don't know if there's any kind of audio if you want. Uh, I don't know. Alright, uh, the house I grew up in, uh, in my mother's bedroom. 
there was there was a ceiling fan, and uh, we looked up and everything afterwards. There was a kid that was jumping on the bed and hit the fan and actually did die. So at night, sometimes you would feel little compressions on the bed. <laughs> no, I mean the kid was happy, jumping on the bed. And the house like, got you got me like one like oh you seen this old woman who was like looking for an old man. And you guys found the old man. <laughs> so it was one time we had an old woman in our house, and she was like oh I can't find my husband. So totally tough luck. <laughs> that's not the thing. All right, so that's the end of this week, and that was a creepy conversation. I don't think I'll fully be able to sleep tonight. I don't think I'll be able. <laughs> Stop it, so I can just close this and be done with it, so I can do my work. <laughs> I'll, I'll walk away so we can. Okay. Something about creepy conversation, friends, it's distracting me. Anyways, that's about it. You won't be able to sleep tonight. Yeah, I won't be able to sleep tonight probably. It's fine. That's it. I'm just gonna, it's over. Alright, so that's the end of this. Sorry, excuse me, sorry. Sorry. Exits that way, sorry. <laughs> I'll be sleeping next to my mom tonight. Okay, well, anyways, Brandon's done interrupting me and stuff. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, favorite, all that good stuff. See you next week. There's no subreddit. Peace out. No, see, you're in the wrong spot. I, I'm going to back up. Oh, okay. But okay. I, I need okay. to say all it. Alright, alright, go ahead. I'm sorry, I will stop directing from in front of the camera. In action. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs>